Welcome back everyone and thanks for tuning in. My name is Memo and today I have a new project so let's get started. While I was grocery shopping at Target along with my wife, I came across this 5 pack, the Fast and the Furious. This is supposed to come out July 1st but it's been hitting the store so you should be able to find it at any local store that sells Hot Wheels. So first off you have the 61 Impala, red. One of my favorite castings. The 72 Ford Gran Torino Sport in green. Corvette Grand Sport Roaster Silver. The 70 Ford Escort RS 1600 in blue. And then 70 Chevelle SS in a prime color. I'm gonna be doing a wheel swap on all five of these cars. So I finally completed my project. All five of the cars are all complete. One of the things that I wanted to do, I wanted to keep the wheels as original as to what you would have saw as, as you've seen them in the movie. And I think I did a pretty good job, minus the Ford Escort. The Ford Escort, I went with the Chromes only because I didn't have, to have any of the gold or yellowish looking rims. So, all right, let's get a little more closer and we'll look at these cars individually so you can see all the detail that I put into them. I didn't do a whole lot, but I added a little detail to them just to make them more authentic and close to what the you would have seen on the big screen. So here's a 61 Impala, one of my favorite casting. I went ahead and put the Kreger spokes with the white walls on here. I added the tail lights in the back. And then also in the front, I went ahead and put some paint at the headlights on here too. I think it looks so much better now. So here's the 72 Ford Gran Torino Sport. I went ahead and put these rims on here. They're pretty much close to what you would have saw in the film. And I painted the tail lights in the back and also the exhaust. I painted it chrome. And then I also painted the headlights in front and added some detail to the front of the grill. I think this one came out real nice. So here's the Corvette Grand Sport Roaster. I went ahead and went with these reds. Look real good on here. And then the only thing I did was did a little bit of detail in the back. The tail lights were already painted. And then in the front, I don't know if you can really tell, the inner cooler that's in there, I painted it chrome. That is the only thing that I did to this car. So here's the 70 Ford Escort RS1600. I went with these chrome rims only because I didn't have any of the yellow ones. I added some detail to the back. So you can see the chrome bumper and the tail markers in the back. And then the interior also, I took out the chrome and it's actually a, like a grayish interior on there. I didn't do much to it. And then here's the front. In the front I added the headlights and then the inside of the grill I painted it black and then the bumper on the side has also been chromed out. I think this one came out real nice too. So here's the final car in the set. It's the 70 Chevelle SS. I went with these Kreger spokes on here. They're kind of like a grayish color. The other thing that I did to it was painted the tail lights in the back. I didn't do anything with the chrome. The chrome is, uh, is the original chrome, how the car came in. And then the only other thing I did was painted the headlights and the inside of the grill. And that's it. That's all I did to this car. Overall, I think it came out real nice. So I ended up putting all the cars back to the original package. This is actually something that I wish Mattel would do, but if Mattel had something like this, I'm sure this would cost quite a bit of money, and I don't know if anybody would be willing to pay this much money for a fight pack with real riders. I finally completed the project. I think it came out real nice. Hopefully you guys like the end product of it. I like it. I think I'm going to probably end up putting it on display, or I might just sell it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, and share my video. Later, guys.